Hey sleepyheads, I know it's been a little while since I released one of these, and I'm sorry for the long delay, but I'm very excited to share what we've been working on. There's a lot to cover, so we're going to stick with sleepy-only content this newsletter and give the AV News section a bit of a rest. In this video, I'll announce the new Hypno DIY kit, talk about the availability of the original Hypno, discuss the latest Hypno software update, announce the next video challenge, and shout out the winner of the last video challenge. Here to talk more about the new Hypno DIY kit is Sleepy Ron. Hey, it's Ron, Sleepy CEO. And that's right, you're not dreaming. We said Hypno DIY kit. We're gonna be selling a dream it yourself, build it yourself version of the Hypno. And it's gonna let you turn one of these little Raspberry Pi computers into a Hypno, just like this one. This version is identical in functionality to the original Hypno design, but has a few different I.O. ports and actually will enable some functionality that wasn't possible with the original design, such as streaming the output over Wi-Fi. This version can't be powered from your rack out of the box, but I will be working on a board to make that happen in the very near future. The original Hypno was meant to be as plug and play as possible since video synthesizers are a notoriously cryptic hobby and that's still a massive value of the original. But with the recent chip shortages, getting a new processor for every single Hypno is just not realistic or sustainable. So that's why I hope you can reuse one of your pies or borrow one or just get a one-off from the many suppliers that are available online. So in the long run, I believe this is gonna be a more environmentally friendly and sustainable way to get as many of you into Hypno as possible. The Hypno DIY kit requires no soldering. It's gonna be coming in at a lower price point and most importantly, it minimizes reliance on foreign labor where it is notoriously difficult to verify humane conditions. This release may come as a slight surprise to some of you since I was kind of reluctant to do this in the beginning, but now that we have a dedicated support team, a chat where you could reach out to us at any time, and an awesome active community on our forum, I believe we are ready. Uh, Sleepy Brian has made a full tutorial to explain to you and show you how to put this kit together and we have overhauled all of our documentation into one streamlined wiki format so that you can get all the info you need super quick. So yeah, get your very own Hypno DIY kit today. There's a link in the description and I hope you love it. Stay sleepy y'all. Thanks Ron. We still plan to offer the original Hypno as soon as we get the chips we need to build them. Suppliers are quoting vastly different timelines, so it's difficult to tell exactly when they'll be available again. We're hoping they'll be here before the end of 2021, but it could be a bit later. Thanks for your patience. Any customer with an original Hypno pre-order will be able to change their order to the Hypno DIY kit to receive it sooner, and we'll refund the difference in cost. Please note there are some key differences between the original Hypno and Hypno DIY. Hypno DIY is taller and has different I.O. ports. It's not currently Eurorack mountable, and although composite output is possible, it lacks the noise-resistant hardwired composite output on the front panel of the original design. If you'd like to change your original Hypno pre-order to a Hypno DIY kit, please send your name and order number to support at sleepycircuits.com. Long, long ago, during the last newsletter, I promised a mind-blowing new firmware to be released during the summer. Well, summer has come and gone, and we kind of got distracted by new products. Anyway, I'm happy to say that that new firmware is finally here, and it's available for both the original Hypno and Hypno DIY. Firmware 2.2 allows for video and image loading from a USB stick. This has all the same features of the video input, but with even more convenience. Speaking of which, video input cropping and keying is now addressable via MIDI CC as well as the front panel. Saving and recalling presets to a USB storage device is now also supported, a highly requested and anticipated feature. 
we've optimized the engine so that frame rates are higher, blending is more natural, and colors are chosen from a perceptually more uniform color space. Download the new firmware at the link in the description below. This new firmware update gives us a great opportunity for a new challenge. Use the USB functionality to load a new shape into your Hypno. The Hypno engine already comes preloaded with sine, tangent, square, circle, and fractal noise, but we want to see you get creative. Use triangles, trapezoids, hell, even rhombuses. Go nuts! Process this new shape through the Hypno and whatever else you have in your mad science laboratory. Post your visual to Instagram or the Sleepy Form with the hashtag HypnoShape and at Sleepy Circuits. The winner with the most shapely visual will win a sleepy t-shirt, an HDMI expander panel, and a premium video pack of their choice. Find out more information at the link in the description below. Speaking of video challenges, the winner of the last challenge was at the bad table. We had a record number of awesome submissions. Check out some of these amazing videos. Thank you all for submitting and making this a great challenge. I hope you all submit to this new shape challenge as well. It's been over a year since I started making these newsletter videos, and I just wanted to thank you for watching and commenting. I try to make every video better than the last, and I have a lot of fun making them. I hope you have a lot of fun watching too. That's it for this edition of Sleepy News. Make sure to check out the links in the description below for more info about Hypno DIY, the new firmware, the new video challenge, and more. Like, subscribe, follow us on social media, get involved on the forum, and most importantly, get some sleep.